yeah. Make it rain, yeah. Hurricane, yeah. Baby, this a perfect time and a perfect place, yeah. I'ma make it worth your while. Stay a while. Think a stripper name is Maverick, and she know I'm Kyle. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Okay, we usually do arena videos, but today I'm going to be strictly focusing on helping you guys get better with the charge shotgun. All right, the reason you need to be good with the charge shotgun is because now in the new meta, the charge shotgun is superior to the tag. At least in my opinion, if you don't notice, a lot of the pros are using the charge shotgun over the tag. So that should tell you something right there. The charge hits a lot harder and it's not as hard to use as you think. All right, but before we get into that, make sure you guys smash the like button if you guys are in enjoying these tip videos also if you want to help support me more man make sure you use code von in the item shop i'd appreciate it greatly so thank you to all the code von users man you guys are insane you guys are true hooligans but besides that guys we're going to get straight into the tips and the first thing i want to talk about is how to practice with the charge shotgun so as you guys know the charge shotgun is not available in creative okay at least the regular way the way you can get the charge shotgun in creative is by using the map that i'm using here but playing it in fill mode okay you got to play creative fill to be able to get the charge shotgun but in creative fill there's going to be random people in there that might get into your game with you so you got to be careful or if you have a creator code you can always do a custom match put in a custom code and get into a creative fill by yourself or with your friends okay but that's only if you have a creator code and a custom code but i'm going to leave the code for this map that i use to 1v1 in the description i'll also be putting the code on the screen this map was created by phase dubs so shout out to phase dubs for creating a map which allows us to practice with the charge shotgun but the first thing i want to actually say about the charge shotgun is that you don't have to charge it as long as you think all right guys people think that you have to charge it all the way for it to do damage that's not the case once you hear the gun start charging like the initial noise when it starts charging that's enough of a charge to get a nice decent hit on somebody and deal high damage okay guys so you don't have to hold it all the way every time if you don't want to just a little charge will still allow it to hit good damage okay next thing i want to talk about is the right peak advantage now this goes pretty much with all shotguns but this shotgun in particular you always want to have a right peak advantage when charging up your shot and taking a shot on somebody just because of that extra time where you do have to charge the shotgun you don't want to leave yourself open and give your opponent a shot on you okay so the right peak advantage is very helpful with this meta and with the shotgun so always set yourself up to take the right peak shots never take left peak shots because you will fail every time now the next thing i want to talk about and this is kind of a trick more than it is a tip all right and i call this the unknown army and the unknown army is when you get somebody in your box and you have a stair in between you two you're both in the same box you edit out the side reset it pop a window and then get an easy right peek on them as they will not be able to do anything because all the edits are yours okay this is called the unknown army i will be showing this on screen right now this play helps me out a lot when using the charge shotgun because it gives you a nice free shot as long as you're quick enough while doing it so definitely practice the unknown army classic because in my opinion it is very overpowered and this brings me to my next tip on how to get better with the charge shotgun and that is to have good prediction and good awareness okay you're always going to want to know where your opponent's at and what your opponent's gonna do you're gonna want to try to predict their moves before they make them just so you can have your shotgun charged and ready to shoot them if you can get good at your predictions you become an insane player if you guys ever watch Metro Metro is a good player just because of his pre fires and his predictions okay he can get easy tags on people just by knowing what they're gonna do before they do it and catching them off guard all right so be always be aware of what your opponent is doing where they're at and try to predict what they're gonna do so you can be ready for it the next trick I want to show you guys is the door shot I don't know if you guys knew this but when you're charging your shotgun you can open a door while keeping the charge going so if you are box fighting somebody you can edit a door start to charge your shotgun open the door and then shoot them the reason this is so good is because you can be fully protected while charging your shotgun and you won't have to let go of the charge to open your wall okay this is a lot of people don't know about this but i've seen a couple people do this in game but not many so this will catch a lot of people off guard if you use this method if you use this trick but definitely recommend trying the door shot because it is definitely OP as well. This one I'm very curious about how you guys will like it so let me know in the comments below if the door shot works for you because i find the door shot to be very useful sometimes it's not as useful as others because the opponent can open the door also so you got to be careful for that but you can still make really crazy plays by using the door shot the next trick i want to talk about is the low ground side jump tactic all right this is when you are build fighting somebody and they have high ground on you if you are quick enough you can charge your shotgun and do a side jump around a floor or a cone and you can get a shot on them before you catch yourself okay this is very tricky 
and you have to be quick to do this. If you guys haven't watched my streams, man, a lot of people know me for being a low ground warrior, man. This is one of the things that makes me such a good low ground player is the side jump. The side jump with a shot included, okay? You don't just want to side jump and build. You want to slip a shot in there because your opponent will not be expecting it. And this also leads me to another tip while you're build fighting with a charged shotgun is the Tifu Classic. If you guys don't know what the Tifu Classic is, it's when you're holding high ground and every time you shoot the person, you place a floor underneath you, okay? So once you get to the edge of the floor, you can shoot and place a floor so they can't shoot you back. This is the Tifu Classic. Tifu's done this since day one and it is still very useful with this shotgun because you can charge it and be protected at the same time. And the last thing I want to talk about guys is your mechanics. You definitely need to work on your mechanics and you need to be a quick editor and a quick thinker to be able to get these shots off of this charged shotgun because you can't just shoot it right away and get high damage like you will with the pump. You have to charge it and you have to plan. Okay, so having good mechanics and editing faster will allow you to plan faster and be ahead of your opponent when you guys are fighting. Those are just some tips for you guys, tips and tricks on how to be better with the charged shotgun. All right, guys, it's not as bad as you think. The charged shotgun is actually a really good gun if you know how to use it well. So definitely try to take these tips into consideration and let me know how they work for you. I hope they do work for you. And I appreciate you guys watching, man. Make sure you use code Von in the item shop. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button. And also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any streams or videos or any giveaways. Anything like that, man. Hit that noti bell. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out, boys. Crap.